everyone and welcome to the new video. Today we are on the way to Bovington. Emma's doing the 100 and under 18 and I'm doing the 90 under 18 to give back the confidence run. And you may be wondering if we've, if we've stolen another friend's lorry. Well no, we actually haven't. We've decided to actually use our own lorry for once. Finally! It passes their and we are on the road. And we haven't crashed yet, so... No, there was some burning smell. Yeah, we did think it was about to blow up, but... We it hasn't should... blown up as of yet, though. We should be okay, so... Okay, that's the thing. Road. Spin around on the living, it's looking a bit dirty. <laughs> and we're complete pigs. But, <laughs> say hi, Emma. Howies! Okay, we have a piper and Buck is behind us. Journey's going for us. We've already eaten like, five packs of sweets. I'm gonna go back to eat some more. Bye, Abby. We're here. <laughs> okay, so we're making the horses' feet now. I've got like three lights on to try and make this actually light enough to see. But we're here. As you see, it's a bit dark. Got here a bit late because we're not punctual. <laughs> um, but yeah, he likes our new punch. Yeah, they're all black. We've got a theme of the lorry, which is all black. So. Really depressing, but here we are. <laughs> you just see their eyes. Okay. Okay, it's dinner time. Okay, dinner time. We're just setting up for the night now. So we're now eating our dinner. We've got lasagna and lettuce. And we're watching Below Deck <laughs> with our food and the TV in the lorry. Work, so we've got <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm setting up my bedroom now. I'm being locked in. There goes the ramp. <laughs> and all my boots, which are not dry. Which I'm very sad about because I want to wear them tomorrow, so they'd better dry. So we're signing off the vlog for tonight and we'll see you again tomorrow morning when we walk the course and I compete Piper. <laughs> it's obviously the morning now because it's bright outside, but we're about to go walk the course. Bugs. eating his breakfast, of course. Oh. Emma. It's a bit foggy, hopefully it gets a bit less foggy. So we've just started walking the course now, Abby and my dad are way ahead of her head already, but we had quite a nice first jump. And we're just going on to the second one now, which looks to be the little, I don't know what you call that, upright thing. To get off the darkest ground. So we're currently walking the course. So far, the 90s is looking very unbelievably straightforward but I guess it will after we've stepped down I'm just giving a look not jumping out kind of wish I did the 100 now but at least we'll have a nice round hopefully so we've just come to jump number three here and you can't actually see the ground until after so it's quite a sharp jump so we'll definitely have to ride this one forward we've got our first combination here going down the hill to that house over there okay a little bit of a drop on landing here and we go to that little we've got another combination here we've got a skinny to a ditchy kind of step up thing and then um, uh, upright so I'm gonna go and walk it now and suss it out so we've got a tank jump now the iconic one Want 
to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down It's looking pretty kind to be fair. I think that has something to do with stepping down from 100 and Pontus 400 is not, I mean, it's quite full on. So yeah, it's looking quite nice. But saying that there's a few questions and there's one ditch step up. I'm gonna have to have my mind screwed on because yeah, Buck's never seen anything like that. But as long as I ride it right and he's feeling good, it should be fine. Emma's a walk in the show jumping, but I'm not gonna walk it until later because the 90s aren't up yet. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Piper is all plaited up now, and I'm going to be tagging him up in about 40 minutes. And I've so been on a very eventful ride. We're rushing because I'm a little late, but it's dress us time. Piper Emma. is looking beautiful and clean out there, and yeah, bring us possibly do a nice test. Yeah. How did your dress last year? I think mine grew out. Abby thinks it's my terrible. He was sticking a pick quite a lot. I guess we'll see. Mixed yeah, opinions. <laughs> Divided yeah, opinions. Good, oh, that's me the whole time, and then I get not very good, so <laughs> that's not very good, Emma. So the last to go in this novice, and the 100, I beg your pardon, is 221, Emma Stewart. Emma riding her own pipe for the second, the size of 32.5. We will then be changing the course for the novice. looking pony. Emma's getting ready for cross country now. Yeah, I forgot my cross country shirt, so it's gonna be so shirt. I was actually really happy with that too, nothing wrong. You didn't go clear, so. No, but you felt really nice. Yeah, which are these yours or hers? Abby, which are hers? Emma! You're looking very fat. Is my head, my number is very difficult to get my head as you know, mega. <laughs> Well, is your air jacket going to go off? Okay, how do you feel about the course, MR? It's good. Yeah, I'll stay by that doing all my minutes because I haven't really gone over them that much, but... Hmm. You look very you scared about life.
<laughs> Is that how you feel about your first country round? Angry face. Or is that how Emma feels about the cross country? Oh, Emma, that henna is tragic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kept lifting my hat up and my hat kept going like this. Didn't go too well. Big retire. Big retire, not a small well, like, retire. Like, people say like no, she got a stop. <gasps> wow, that's never happened before. Just saying, I've been waiting for this day and not in a mean way. I've just been waiting for this day. None of us were committed. None of us. <laughs> was there, was there loads of you? Of course. Maybe she wants to change her but you just hold as well. We just didn't go away. So. Oh no, <laughs> you got wet. So I'm all back from cross country now. Didn't go too well. We were tired. Yeah. But now I'm walking the course with our ice coffees with Abby and Austin. We're going to go and go to some far jumps and take pictures of people doing the novice. Mm. That picture Abby just took. I did, not know. Okay, we're grass walking the horses now, but there's not exactly very much grass, so... <laughs> Piper's found a tree. Hey, Bucky. Dad's about to do studs, and the pony is looking very pretty. Show them your plaits, the plaits on the other side. So it is day two now of Buffington Beauty and I'm just grass walking Piper and Abby. <laughs> Buck can definitely see, yeah, Piper can see Buck, but Buck's walking to the dressage now. dressage now the test went quite bad um yeah piper decided to sabotage it by knitting just as i went in which is fabulous but yeah i'm gonna go show jumping soon and then i've got quite a tight turnaround in between show jumping and um cross <laughs>
Abby's just been cross country and come back. Back is now washed down. How did it go, Abby? Double clear inside the tank. Double clear inside the tank. On a 27 dressage, which I feel stupid about complaining about. So, yeah. 27 dressage finished and cool. Okay, it's home time now. It's one very tired pony. So, we've just left Bobbington now and we're on our way home. After a long weekend away, um, some successful, very successful for Abby, not quite so successful for me. Oh, you got 38 quid! Abby got 38 quid! No way! So, a bit more info around why I retired cross country. So, basically, I did this corner, as you'll see on the video, I'll probably put it up in the corner right now. Um, and yeah, I got really deep into it, didn't get a good line for it, and he was just chugging down a lot and I was struggling to turn him. And he wasn't really great the whole round to be honest, he didn't ever get into a rhythm or kind of lock onto any fences like he normally does. And then the next combination which was the, the angled boat, I really struggled to get him back up going again after we got a bit deep into that corner and actually trotted a few strides before the first boat and like cat left it and it was huge and then we and then he just wouldn't get into canter again and I just couldn't get him going whatever I tried and um, we ended up literally just kind of bubbled down to a walk in front of the second of those boats, houses, things um, and then I just called it a day because I didn't think he was feeling like he normally is and I definitely think the holds on Cross Country before I went did play a big part in not going to Wells Piper because we warmed up and cooled down three times before I actually went and one of the times they actually counted down and I had two seconds left at five, four, three, two and then it was a red light and they were quite all bad falls. So as I said earlier I feel stupid for saying my dress up was bad because I got 27 then double clear in the time which to be fair I don't want to say I was expecting but I would have been disappointed if that course had caused us problems cross country because we stepped up but um yeah I'm really happy with him we ended up coming fourth on a 27 in the under 18 section and the time was really tight I was one of only three in my section who finished on who got in the time so that's quite cool yeah hopefully victory as well and see you then Oh my god. So our lorry has just broken down, not the end of the vlog yet, and we are literally on the hard shoulder quite a way into the road really. And, and we're calling the police and we're having to close the road. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Come down right. Oh, as far away as we can get to the police. A little bit still on the road and the car's gone so quick. Um we think the police are coming hopefully to shut the road um in a second so we can Move it, but yeah. Maybe that'd be too bad. Abby, how are you so calm? <laughs> I'm so stressed out right now. The hard shoulder here is well, it's non existent really. At least we're not on the motorway. We've got a verge. Yeah, but we're on the main road. I just got stung by a stinging nettle. That'd be just very unfocused. Really happy. <laughs> Look how unfocused it is. That is your concern right now. What noise do we think it was like? What? If someone crashed into the back of your horses. Probably quite a loud one. Incredibly loud. Like a huge bang. And we can't get the horses off until they close the no. road. The traffic officers have now arrived and we are just waiting for um, someone to come pick the horses up. There you go. Okay, oh. Where do you have to stop your life? Right, listen. They drive past and don't stop. <laughs> are you <laughs> just, Are you vlogging? <laughs> oh, back. 2019, when the, my old lorry caught fire. Yeah. I'll take a bit of video. Stuart family creating drama on the A13. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh my god, we're off again. New lorry. We're off. Woo! Marcus, do you want to go in front? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Great mile. Oh, the road is starting again as well. Do you pick up my prize money? Thirty-eight quid. Wow! Wait for the mall. Thank you. Oh, they said thank you to us. They all thank you. They all said thank you for saying thank you. That's so lovely. Oh my God, what have we done? Oh my God, it's still going. Like you. Sun. We're actually home now. Just about. Hey guys, so I thought I'd properly end the vlog because we didn't end it and then you would have seen what happened. So, yes. I'm here with Piper now. Obviously back home, it's the day after we got back. It's all going well on the journey home until the lorry decided to break down on its first journey out. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's fabulous. So, police came, closed the road, both, both ways. Um, we, our friends very kindly came and picked the horses up because they were on their way down from Bobbington too and they had two free spaces. And um, my dad, we all went home apart from my dad. He stayed with the lorry and he managed to fix it. <laughs> and he drove it home. And hopefully now it's ready for victim. Always fun. Horses survived. They didn't get run over, which is always a bonus. But yeah, I hope you actually enjoyed the video, guys. So we'll see you next time, which is going to be Bicton International Three Days. Bye.